and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about my top five reasons for you to get a boa constrictor as a pet. With me today I have Baby and maybe you can see a little bit of her. I have more of her body right here. Baby, she's a big girl, he's 2.5 meters, which is also my first reason for you to get a boa as a pet. Reason number one, get a big, big snake. In captivity, boas can reach up to four, if not five meters. I've never ever seen a boa that big in captivity. The biggest one I have seen was 3.5 meters. That is a big snake. So if you want to go something not only long, but also heavy and big in the body, a boa is definitely a snake for you. Reason number two for you to get a boa is that they are pretty easy to care for. Boas do not require UVB lightning or anything fancy like that. They can do pretty, pretty well with just some substrate, a hide, and a heat source, either a heating light or a heat mat. For our boas, we do use a heat mat and they're doing perfectly fine with that. Reason number three, even as hatchlings and throughout their entire life, boas are in general very good eaters, which means that they will eat almost every time you feed them. Also, boas do not like the bull python need to be fed every week or every 10th day. They can easily, when they're an adult, be fed every once a month. So they are also quite cheap when it comes to feeding. The fourth reason for you to get a boa is that they do come in many, many different colors and patterns. This one baby here, she is a bastard, which means that she's not a locality, she's not a morph type. We have no idea what's in her, so she is called a bastard. But boas do come in different morphs, such as my sun glow boa Alistair, there's also my ghost and even my eclipse pearl. The fifth reason for you to get a boa might be both a pro and a con for you, but they do need quite a large terrarium, which means that you can go pretty much as large as you want. You can also go in the height and you can build branches and all that kind of stuff. You will most likely see your boa up in the branches and down in the bottom and pretty much everywhere in the terrarium. So you can really go as big as you want and decorate it as much as you want. So all in all, if you want a big snake, beautiful colors, easy to care, very good eater, and the opportunity to create this big and beautiful terrarium for them, then the boa is definitely one for you. Even though I just listed these five reasons for you to get a boa, I really do want to say that it is important you do your research on boas. Because unlike, for example, a ball python, boas do tend to be a little bit more aggressive than your average beginner snake. Even though boas are fantastic and they are my favorite type of snake, you really do have to do your research on these guys before going out and buying one. If you want to buy a boa as maybe your first or second snake, I can highly recommend that you go for like a one-year-old like Marble here. Because as you can see, Marble compared to Baby I just had up is very, very small. If you buy a boa that's one year old, it will allow you to grow with the boa. Don't go out and buy one that's two meters long. Get a pretty big surprise when you come home and that snake might be a bit aggressive. Buy either a one-year-old here or a three-year-old as Alice. Alistair, let me show you him. Alistair here, as you can see, he's closing in on three years, so he's two years older than Marvel that you just saw. But as you can see, he has definitely grown a lot in size compared to Marvel. So my best recommendation for you, if you want the boa, is to definitely go out and buy one that's either one, two, or three year old, because that will definitely give you the opportunity to grow with the snake and get to know it and get to know how to handle it and how to deal with it if it has a bad day. Don't go out and buy one baby size because that's just gonna be uh, unpleasant for you unless of course that you know how to deal with snake and you've had many before but if you want a boa as maybe your first or second snake definitely go for one of the smaller ones all right guys that's all for today a short video on my top five reasons for you to get a boa constrictor boas are definitely my favorite type of snake i love how big they get and i love how their head looks to me that's how a proper snake head looks that said of course i love all my animals absolutely 
but boas they do have a special place in my heart let me know if you want a boa and why right down in the comment section below thank you so much guys that's all for today please give the video a like so i know that you like what i make it really does mean a lot to me and also while you're at it just hit subscribe on that channel do remember we have a facebook group now and if you haven't joined us yet please come and do we do debate all sorts of interesting things and there are some amazing people in there as usual you can find me on instagram under the name jesus jungle thank you guys for now and bye bye